Now in Consumer 10, when the pandemic hit, more people were buying electronics and less cars. The available semiconductor chips were scooped up for laptops and computers for remote work and school. Well, production can't be ramped up overnight, and two years later, we are still feeling it. And we might be living like this for the next few years. This started out as a Chevrolet Blazer until Ohio State University's EcoCar Challenge team got their hands on it. Here's our mobile eye unit, um, and this is paired to a heads-up display here, so uh, this will all see um, all the vehicles, pedestrians, anything we need to see. A four-year project adding autonomy and converting the vehicle from gas-powered to hybrid. For students, I would say at the end of year three, we were really at the point where we should have been at beginning year three. The pandemic put the brakes on recruiting new students and finding high-tech parts. Things like supply chain issues, um, getting different things like microchips for some of our controllers, our engine controllers, transmission controllers, basically all the ECUs in the car that tell your car how to behave and how to be safe and efficient. The EcoCar team, like most of the world, waiting on fabrication of this microchip. This way is about 1.4 millimeter. 1.3 millimeters by 1.4 millimeters. Seen here next to the tip of a pen. Thinner than a strand of human hair. Dr. Tofik Musa left Intel to come to The Ohio State University. He says Intel's microchip fabrication plant in central Ohio is crucial for products in the United States. The announcement for Intel is that they will be operational in Ohio in 2025, right? So that's three years out. And that kind of gives us a good idea of how long it will take to bring a whole facility online. Musa says consumer habits need to shift away from electronics for meetings and entertainment, and production needs to increase. It's a supply and demand problem that, as we've seen, takes time. The demand is going to be the one to react faster than the speed up of production. So if demand keeps going up, it will going to take time for manufacturing to come you know, catch up. Time students lost in the classroom. Time developing the newest innovations in the auto industry. The OSU EcoCar team seen there started its competition at the General Motors Proving Grounds in Yuma, Arizona yesterday. We want to say best of luck to them in their competition. And next year, the car will be an electric vehicle, which, guess what, relies on even more <laughs> semiconductors. Of course guys. it does. Wow, that's amazing. But mm -hmm. how small, I mean, again, a tip of a pen, that's amazing. I, I, I was shocked. I thought they were like more the size of like an SD card. Yeah. And when they say micro, they're, they're not kidding. You can't even see with your own eye. You need to look under a microscope to actually see the injury. You could see the scribbles on it, but mm -hmm. besides that, you can't. And the, the OSU EcoCard team does really well. Out of the last six years, they've won almost every single one. They came in second hey. last year. So right. good Who's stuff that? for them. Yeah. What's great? I.O. I.O., yes. <laughs>